Hello everyone, it's Benny, and welcome to video one. In this video, we're going to go spelunking through the internet to find a few tools and a few libraries that are going to make our lives with OpenGL a lot easier. And so, go ahead, pull out your favorite web browser, and we're going to get started. But you know, since we are out spelunking on the internet, and since it's sort of along the way, I figured I might as well show you one of the most important things that I'll show you in this series. First off, let's go to OpenGL.org, the OpenGL website. One of the biggest mistakes I made when I was learning OpenGL was discounting this website because it seemed big, technical, and not really useful to someone who wasn't already an expert in OpenGL. And yeah, it's not the most beginner-friendly place in the world. This isn't where you should go if you're looking to learn something new. But just for referencing things, just for figuring out this is what this function does, these are some tools that'll help you do stuff, as a reference material, this is absolutely invaluable. And as we're going to find out very shortly, because this is where our very first thing is going to be. So I'm going to go to the coding resources to the OpenGL SDK. So this is the first thing we're going to do. We're going to download some things from the OpenGL SDK. There's a few things here that you can look in. There's some other tutorials if this isn't enough for you or something, or if you want to look at other material. But where I want to go right now is the libraries. These are, well, software libraries. They provide some functionality that will make OpenGL a lot easier. And there's a bunch of these for different things, but I'm only interested in two of them. There's Glue. What this does is it will load all the OpenGL functions that your graphics hardware actually supports, and it just provides one function that does all that for you. So you don't have to worry about, this is what my graphics card supports, this is what my graphics card doesn't support, this is what my graphics card doesn't support but has compatibility for, and, you know. It just makes all that stuff a lot easier, and that's the very first thing we're going to deal with. So, yeah, that's the first thing. The other thing is the OpenGL Mathematics Library which provides tools for 3D math, like vectors, matrices, just stuff that does a bunch of complex math for us, so we don't have to worry about that either. And there you go. These are our two, well, the two parts of the OpenGL SDK that we'll actually be using in this series. So I'm going to go to the Glue website, and I'm just going to download it. It's, let's see, oh, here we go, most recent one, they, oh, right. <laughs> well, if you're on Windows, what you want to do is you want to download the binaries, and then you can just, there you go, you can download it. And for OpenGL Mathematics, you want to, again, go there. I'll, okay, I'll just save. I won't wait, make you wait for downloading it. I'm going to do all that either while I'm talking about stuff or off-screen if it comes to it. Yeah, OpenGL Mathematics Library. Again, you're going to want to download this. And, yeah, that's fine. Okay, yeah, that's... <laughs> And yeah, th those are the two big parts of the OpenGL SDK we want. And you can go ahead and download them, do whatever. But there actually is one more thing I want to download, and this will be all the downloading in the series. Well, maybe not in the series, but at least initially. And that is... OpenGL is a good way of rendering graphics, but there is no standard way for actually accessing OpenGL. So certain platforms like Windows, or different hardwares, or, you know, they all access OpenGL a little bit differently. You'll have to set up a window, you'll have to create context a little bit differently, and there's no cross-platform way of doing that, at least not in the OpenGL SDK. So I'm going to be using a library for that, and that library is, well, I'll go ahead and Google it, SDL. The Simple Direct Media Layer. It provides tools for that. It provides tools for a lot of other things as well, but th those are the parts that I'm interested in. So, you're going to want to go to SDL 2.0, which is the most recent version. And you can download the runtime binaries if you want, but what we're actually interested in is the development libraries, because we're developing. And depending on what library you're, or what compiler you're looking for, you can use, you can download the appropriate one. But I'm going to be used to, or downloading the one for Visual Studio. So, there. And that should be all the major downloads for the series. We now have all the libraries that we're going to need. And at this point, paths diverge a little bit. Depending on what operating system you're using, setup's going to be a little bit different. So, I'm going to be putting up a few different videos. Just click the video for what operating system you're setting up on, and I'll guide you through how to do it for your operating system. 
And after a setup's done, it's going to be operating system independent again, so you don't need to worry about that for the entire series, just for the setup. So say thank you, and I'll see you in the video where we set things up.